that was the platform. But inside the platform, the pilot need to, to build, to have a, a very clear situational awareness. So we have and we provide the pilot with a multi-spectral detection, localization, identification, tracking of all the targets, air, surface, and ground. And all this information are coming from the different system you can see all around this uh, middle circle wingman via the data link iff interrogator electronic warfare which provide the aircraft and the pilot with 360 bubble uh, detection and protection ir seeker that are used to improve the situational awareness uh, as long as they are on the aircraft obviously the uh, multi display as well allow the aircraft to the pilot to have information wherever he is, he is looking at. The uh, TV and um, IR FSO as well, you will see that on the aircraft if you want to. <coughs> and the radar, which is able to provide the pilot with information air to air, air to ground, air to sea, and can be used as well as a sensor for the turn going up. Talios and Arios are the two uh, Reiki or targeting pod the C2, obviously, and all that provide information that are gathered in a um, core computer, which is the main core of the aircraft. But need to provide information to the pilot. And that rely on three uh, main pillars again. The first is the data fusion, data fusion and situational awareness. And all the system, you, you can see on the left part, the core computer is uh, gathering all the information, providing the pilot with a very simple and robust track information that is shown in the uh, head level display you can see. We'll come back on that just after. And the second one is the pilot interface. Because you need to act for short term, long term, medium term. And you have a very simple interface based on OTAS control and a very simple um, display inside the cockpit. You get, uh, as well as I said, the helmet multi display. All the, uh, these uh, three pillars provide the pilot with a very low, very, very low workload that allow the pilot to do all the, the mission the aircraft can do in a very simple way. The multi-mission philosophy would, that will help the pilot to be to be uh, dedicated to the mission and less to uh, the, uh, the uh, to fly the aircraft itself. So the um, the main display in the aircraft is a head-level display, which provides the pilot with a full situational awareness. It is you can imagine and you can see if you want on the simulator we have just um, in the next room. Um, it is a collimated display which provides the pilot with a, a one square meter display, color, color display. You don't have to adapt your, uh, your, uh, your eyes to uh, long range or short range because when you look in, inside the head level display, you can look up in the head level display, that's the same. Um, a common logic as well because in the, the aircraft is working all the mission at the same time. As an example, if you're flying air to air with six missiles and you have an aerial spot in center line, the aerial spot will do the Reiki as you're doing the air to air because it is fully automatic. So if you do the air to air on the left corner and you have a picture to do on the right corner, as soon as you will be close to the target, the system will automatically switch to, air to, uh, to Reiki mode do the picture while the pilot is doing air to air. It is fully automatic. You can do that as well in air to ground because the aircraft is doing air to air and air to ground at the same time. So the pilot decides to fire an air to air missile, touch air to air, fire the missile, and go back in air to ground, touching air to ground. And that's it. It's very, very easy. Again, um, we're used to speak about similar sequence because like uh, like a young boy or girl playing with uh, a Game Boy. You use the combo, you know, the combo on the, on, the, on the game, and you can do the combo 
exactly in the same way in the Rafale. So if you want to switch a target in air to ground, it's this button and not another. If you need to switch in air to air, you do the same. So you only have one button to push to change the mode and the same button to push to change the target. So it's the same way of mind. But we need also to be connected. This is a, a, a first a, a operational pillar of the aircraft. It is really connected. Here is the current aircraft and the gross potential of the aircraft displayed in front of you. And you can see that we are connected to each actor of a joint operation. It is very important because currently, day to day, the aircraft is flying in the French forces for uh, uh, support <coughs> of the ground. Currently, uh, the Navy aircraft are on the boat in the south of India, something like that, and they're working for exercise, but uh, as well <coughs> for uh, operation. So we are connected through uh, the C2, through the ground, the ground forces. You can see Dakas on the right to uh, the boats for the operation air to surface. Even if you are not a Navy aircraft, um, you, we, uh, we, are, uh, we are sharing information. We can share picture. We can share uh, data via the L16 or something else. And we will be connected uh, with, um, with a SATCOM. We will do a third-party MDM, and we will uh, also gather information in between the aircraft to uh, make the situational uh, awareness more and more robust. Um, uh, another pillar of the aircraft is survivability. You can hear five-generation aircraft. You can hear four-generation aircraft. This is only commercial aspect, according to me. The important uh, thing, things are to be uh, survivable. And to be survivable, you cannot rely on only one system. So for example, in this case, are depicted all the system we use to be survivable. Low of survivability, pilot workload, because the less you do in the cockpit, the more you can do outside, look outside, manage your mission. The less time you pass to fire your bombs, the better it is. You push the button one time, six bombs are away. So it's more easy. Need to be unpredictable. If you need to fly over the target, you will be predictable. If you fire and forget long range, you will be unpredictable. That is illustrated with a scout missile. Need to be discreet. As soon as in a dark room you light on your uh, and you look uh, at something, you will be detected with your light. It's the same for the aircraft. If you if you use discrete sensor, discrete sensor, you will be more efficient. You need to know what is what occurs around you. That's why we use our spectra for 360 degrees the protection bubble. If the, uh, the threats are high, you need to fly low. If the threat is low, you need to fly high. But if the weather is bad, flying high is very easy. You're in the clouds, like, li um, like an airliner. If you're flying very low level by night, in the weather, it would be more difficult. So every aircraft, every pilot is able to fly low-level good weather. I can do, I have goggles, and I can, I can fly low-level. But if the weather is not good, it is impossible without terrain following. So if you want to enter and fly below the threats, you need the terrain following. But not only the terrain following. So just imagine, we don't have this one anymore. All those remains and you continue. Why that? Because low observable, low observable is one spectrum. You are low observable in one spectrum, perhaps. Different frequency. But, but the, the, uh, the threats are improving, and the radar are adapted to the threats, and they will change. As soon as the capability of the radar will change, stealthiness 
will be down. So as soon as you lose stealthiness, it is not useful to be very stealth. So stealth is for the spectrum. So if we lose this one, all that remains. That's, that is uh, the main object of this, uh, this slide. Endurance. Because if you take off with a very heavy load, you fly 10 minutes and you land. Yes, what else? So you need to fly for a long time. The aircraft is endurance and can be refueled. The maximum time of flight is 10 hours, can be more. And you need to not decide and to not compromise between weapon log and endurance. That's why with 14 tons available on the aircraft, for an aircraft which uh, is a 10 ton class, you can carry a lot. You can see on the right two different configurations, one with scalp and one with a lot of air-to-air -air missile. And you can see as well the different way we can refuel the aircraft. On the top left, you can see that we can refuel in between two different two aircraft, two Rafale. And the concept is to be able with a refueler Rafale, not the refueled, but the refueler, to be fitted as well with weapons usually air to air because if you want to have fuel you need to use all the store and uh, the store station safety and if you have enough time you can go to the simulator you you can try the uh, AGKS system and you will see that whatever you do you cannot crash on the ground so the the, the aircraft is fitted with different system to provide the main safety to the pilot for peacetime training or air ops so data flight control system, which is very efficient and provide the pilot with a very carefree handling system. The attitude warning, when the pilot is looking down in the cockpit, perhaps there is a mountain in front of him, he got the AGCAS or the turn following and something written in the head level display, which is attitude, saying the pilot say, please look up, you will crash perhaps on the ground if you deselect the AGCAS. Get the recovery as well. If you are lost in the space, you, you, do not, you don't know where you are, you only need to press the button and the aircraft will do it by itself. You will be wing level with a normal power engine and that's it. And the most efficient system is the AGKS and turn following that allow the aircraft to fly very low level, fully automatically, following the flight plan as well and the speed to be on time with the targets. So it's very easy, for example, to, to fly by for a ceremony. You, you only set the timing, the speed, and you will be on time. It's very easy for a young pilot. And the, you, we do that in front usually. If you have time, I will show you perhaps if you want. Uh, if you don't want to go to the simulator, I, I, will, I can show you an AGCAS uh, video.